What's up guys, Jim here. In today's video, we're gonna be discussing the one liter EcoBoost Ford engine. Now this engine is an award-winning three-cylinder turbocharged direct injected engine, and it's the smallest one within the EcoBoost range of engines, but it does have some flaws and suffer with a few problems, which we're gonna take a look at in this video. The first one I'm gonna mention is that some of them can suffer with a eco boom as some people call them engine knock uh, which is where like some of the other high stressed three cylinder engines with wet belts they break up and start to clog up your sump strainer causing oil starvation and this is what that might sound like Personally, I've never really understood why the engineers uh, decided a wet belt was a great idea, especially when they're an absolute pain in the backside, like on this engine to get to. Um, it's a big job to get to the belt on this engine and is likely to cost a lot of money should you have to pay for one. It would have been a much better idea to have made this a chain in the first place, and then you would have also not had the oil starvation problem with these drainer getting blocked. But here's a little look at the wet belt in all its glory and you will not really be able to do this yourself at home to save some money unless you buy some fairly expensive tools like a um, torque uh, amplifier for the bottom crank uh, bolt because that's ridiculously tight and also the locking tools for these top cams. This also brings me to my next fatal flaw on this engine, which is with the front cover design, which was poor, especially on the earlier models. And they suffered with a tiny little gasket going at the back of the water pump, uh, which you can see here. I'll show you a bit closer up as well. Uh, it used to pop and release your coolant very slowly out of the engine. And uh, most people wouldn't even realize it had happened and then these engines overheated in no time and blew up um, here's what the first solution Ford came up with which was to remove all this and put a nice healthy dollop of silicon in there and a new gasket which yeah I suppose it does do the job to an extent but it's not great uh, should your engine overheat fortunately Quite often it scraps the engine and then you have to change the whole engine. There was also a problem with the engines overheating with a pipe on the coolant system which they refer to as a degas hose that runs from your uh, coolant expansion tank down to the side of the engine block. Um, it used to be made of nylon, uh, it used to go brittle and snap and that used to pour all of your coolant out in a matter of minutes so while you were driving so if you're on a motorway or something uh, your engine would overheat pretty quickly and that would also wreck a few engines as well but uh, Ford did issue a field service action and did replace quite a lot of those under that that were affected they can also suffer sometimes with fuel pressure problems but that is normally just down to the fuel pump breaking up and can be easily solved by changing the fuel pump. Well that's going to be it for today's video guys. Let me know what you think of the Eco Boost engine, whether you like it, whether you don't, uh, or whether you want to mention something that I haven't mentioned in the video. Uh, if you like the video, you like these sorts of videos, please remember to give me a like so I know and hopefully I'll see you in the next one.